<laughs> yeah. And one of the women in the film is yes. married to the director, yes. Eli Roth. There might be some curse on the devil in the white city. Hollywood's sweetheart, Keanu Reeves, has decided to quit it along with the director, Todd Field. This is really big news, guys. Why? Well, because Reeves was set to star alongside Leonardo DiCaprio. Can you even imagine how huge the TV show might have been with these two? Their star power alone would have raked in fans in tremendous numbers. Alas, it won't happen. According to Variety, at least. So full of life, and I just thought, you know, he can't, he's a showman, he's a daredevil, and so when he's on the bike, I was just like, he keeps doing poses, you know, and he can't stop. Reeves has decided to step away from the role just months after he was confirmed to star in this limited series. The story was adapted from Eric Larson's book, The Devil in the White City, Murder, Magic and Madness at the Fair that Changed America, and it has been in production limbo for well over a decade. Now, does it start to sound cursed to you as well? DiCaprio bought the rights to the book back in 2010. Scorsese was set to direct a film back then with Leo, but things aren't so simple. Since then, it has changed hands, producers, directors, and even mediums. Until finally, in 2019, a limited series was announced for Paramount TV by Hulu. The story follows the world's Columbian Exposition in 1893 Chicago, in which the architect who designed the expo, Daniel Burnham, crosses paths with the serial killer H.H. H. Holmes. I know that the ones who love us will miss us. The killer is also a doctor who lures his victims into his murder house during the fair. Sounds wild, doesn't it? I mean, who doesn't like architecture and murder? You would have probably guessed that the two stars would take up the leading roles. Leo was to take the role of the murdering doctor, and Keanu was supposed to feature as Burnham in the eight-episode series. But sadly, the Matrix star decided to walk away from the project. You can't take and a compliment, way, can you? It was cool, I mean, to work with Angelica Houston and Halle Berry, Mark DeCasco. For the past couple of decades, big names on the silver screen have made TV their playground. But for Reeves, Devil in the White City would have been his first major project on the small screen. That doesn't mean he hasn't appeared in a TV series before, though. I admit Keanu is known mostly for his films. He's a movie star, after all, with box office hits such as John Wick, The Matrix, Point Break, Speed, and so many more. It's safe to say he's one of the best in Hollywood. But he's no stranger to TV, either. It's just that he doesn't do it too often. He did most of it during the 80s and 90s, though. And I'm not saying that. Those are the words of Anthony Spencer, the Things writer. The only stars that matter are the ones you look at when you dream. <laughs> Thank you. Keanu has lent his voice to the animated series Bill and Ted for almost 20 years. He has also appeared on Bollywood Heroes in a cameo of himself. More recently, he appeared on a web television comedy series, Swedish Dicks. But apart from that, he has steered clear of TV shows and has opted to go for feature films. If he had starred in The Devil in the White City, it would have been a big deal for him. He hasn't done anything like this before, so fans like you and I would get to see our favorite actor in a whole new light. I'm sorry to say that isn't the case. Neither Keanu nor Todd Field has offered any kind of explanation for their exit. The show is set to air in 2024, which leaves ample time for the production to find a new director and a leading star. Even though he might not have said anything, I can't help but wonder, why did Keanu quit? Well, until he comes forward and tells us himself, I can't say for sure, but there are some speculations on why Reeves walked away. It may be that we might finally see him star in the MCU. With the mass exodus of the stars that made the MCU a success, the studio could be looking for some more star power to keep the audience glued. Keanu is a big name, and he's one of the favorites in Hollywood right now. So it makes sense for the studio to offer him a leading role in one of their projects. Just kind of gushing over you on the internet. You didn't know that yet. No, well, that's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of positivity. Wacky. What's more is that he wants to be a part of it. While promoting his comic book Berserker on Jimmy Kimmel Live, he revealed his desire to feature in a Marvel film. He said that it was his childhood dream to play Ghost Rider and has been wanting to do so since he was 10 years old. No, I, but I mean... Listen, it's nice when it's nice, and I'm really like... Nothing has been confirmed by Marvel or Keanu as yet. But let's face it, we're all going to love him in the MCU. I really hope that is the case and that there's no other reason for him to walk away from DiCaprio and Scorsese. Because he has walked out of projects for other reasons in the past. You might remember one of his earlier movies, Speed. It was a huge success, and Keanu was offered $12 million for the sequel. But he turned it down. Yep, he turned down $12 million. And for what? just because he didn't like the script. Hit me! God damn it! Oh. Oh. Yeah! 
This obviously pissed a lot of executives at the time. I mean, why wouldn't it? How many people do you know who turned down that much money just because they don't agree with the story? Reeves even stated that he loved his role and that he really wanted to work with Sandra Bullock, but the script was the only thing that stopped him from doing so. More recently, he walked away from the detail, on which he initially claimed that he had scheduling conflicts with the filming of John Wick, but later his lawyer came out to reveal that he has issues with the casting and that the two parties had no agreement, written or verbal. This obviously angered Avi Lerner, who said that they did have a verbal agreement, and as can be expected, he went on to throw Keanu under the bus. What happened exactly, we can't be sure, but it did leave the John Wick star in a bad light. Liver. Yeah. Liver, yeah, yeah, the liver, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, the, the reaction is up on screen. I think that... To be fair, movie stars leave projects all the time. Just look at Leonardo DiCaprio. He has left countless projects. In fact, he's left so many that Christian Bale joked about how any role that anybody gets is because Leo has passed on it before. That's just crazy. And Bale can say this from experience. Did you guys know that Leo was initially cast to star as Patrick Bateman in American Psycho? The role was later passed on to Christian Bale, who made the movie so iconic, and has given us so many many amazing memes throughout the years. Talking of iconic roles, before Tobey Maguire became the face of Spider-Man for so many years, the role was offered to DiCaprio. Surprise, surprise! The veteran actor wasn't willing to don a costume yet back then, so like any true friend would do, he recommended his childhood buddy for the role. I was on a plane to Russia and the engine exploded and the, and the stewardess came out and said, we seem to have a, a slight problem. Oh, there you are. <laughs> A few years before that, he was also offered the role of Robin in Batman Forever. His response remained the same through the years. Maybe we'll see him in a Marvel movie someday. George Lucas wanted him to play Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Attack of the Clones, but Leo just wasn't interested in the role. Instead, he went to work on Catch Me If You Can and Gangs of New York. Both are iconic masterpieces. I just can't let you guys go without telling you this. <laughs> And, and drug addicts. I like money like everybody else. That would be an absolute lie. If things would have been a little different, we would have had Leo as our Neo from The Matrix. That's right, he turned it down first for Keanu to build his legacy on it. The guy is such a legend. He's walked away from roles that went on to define careers for his fellow actors. I would have loved seeing him alongside Keanu in The Devil in the White City. Personally, I think their styles would have really complemented each other. Sad to say, that won't be the case. By the way, all the greatest stunt men in, in, in this town's history showed up for that Nazi <laughs> convention. That's all been the latest on the Devil in the White City Project. See you in the next one.